Hey guys, I'm back, welcome back to the channel. So this year marks 60 years of James Bond movies, and I've made it no secret that the James Bond franchise is my absolute favourite movie franchise of all time. Um, and you know, uh, the James Bond, James Bond videos were, you know, the first videos I really made on this channel. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be making more James Bond videos now that it is the 60th anniversary of Bond. Uh, so yeah, happy 60th birthday, James Bond movies. I'm gonna treat this like there's a new Bond movie coming out, even though there isn't, because... Uh, you know, they made one two years ago with No Time to Die in 2020. Um, so yeah, we're not getting a 60th anniversary James Bond movie, unfortunately. Um, but you know, I, I'm sure we will get, uh, you know, plenty of other things this year for the 60th anniversary of Bond. And I wanted to make this quick video, uh, well, quick video. I wanted to make this video saying, uh, what I think they should do for the 60th anniversary of Bond. Dr. No, the first ever James Bond movie was released in October of 1962. Uh, so I don't expect there will be, you know, any, uh, you know, anniversary stuff happening just yet, uh, you know, I, I, I expect it to happen a lot later on in the year, um, October was it when No Time To Die was, uh, released worldwide as well, um, so yeah, that's, uh, I'm sure that's not a coincidence. So first up, one thing I really want them to do for the 60th anniversary of Bond this year is re-release all of the James Bond films today in cinemas, um, and I know that might seem like a little bit of a stretch to, you know, release all, re-release all 25 of the films, um, but, you know, they could at least do the first 20, or at the very least, uh, all of the Sean Connery movies. The US have already re-released No Time to Die in select IMAX theatres for the 60th anniversary of Bond. Um, so I expect they will re-release at least a few movies of this franchise for the 60th anniversary of Bond. What's funny is that they did actually already do this last year. Um, the first six James Bond films from Doctor No to On Her Majesty's Secret Service were all re-released in cinemas, or at least view cinemas, um, last year, uh, in January 2021. Not sure why they did it, I guess, because... Uh, they were celebrating the fact that a new Bond film was coming out that year with No Time To Die, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, if a, if a, a year that a new Bond film is coming out is special enough to re-release some of the previous Bond films, then I expect they'll do it again for the 60th anniversary. I don't actually know why they re-released them last year, but they did. Next up, one thing I really think they should do is, uh, do some sort of home media, um, you know, release for the franchise. And, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is releasing all of the films in a 4K box set. Now, for the 50th anniversary... Um, before the 50th anniversary, we had, uh, you know, some of the Daniel Craig films on Blu-ray, and then when the 50th anniversary came around, they released all of the James Bond films on Blu-ray with the Bond 50 Blu-ray box set, and, uh, right now, the only James Bond films we have on 4K Ultra HD are the Daniel Craig ones, so it would only be fitting if for the 60th anniversary they released a box set with all of the films on 4K. That might be a little bit tricky for some of the older ones, like, you know... Uh, the Sean Connery ones and stuff, not sure, uh, what they can really do for a 4K transfer of those, um, but at the very least, you know, do, like, the 90s ones, late 80s, you know, Timothy Dalton, Pierce Brosnan, just, I think they should just release all of the films that they can on 4K, um, you know, at the very least they can do is, you know, at least maybe, uh, re-release, uh, some of the films in newer editions, like, uh, the, uh, James, like, for, for example, on DVD, um, they could maybe release, like, a 60th anniversary, like, line of DVDs, uh, because the last, uh, versions of, uh, James Bond DVDs, uh, that we got were the, uh, 2012 Ultimate Edition DVDs for the, uh, you know, the cl classic Bond movies, um, and, uh, that was 10 years ago in 2012, again, to fit with the 50th anniversary, so, um, yeah, I, I think it would, uh, be a good choice to maybe re-release the films, or, you know, just do something like that. I think there is so much potential here for some really good home media stuff, um, if they did release a 4K box set, that would be great, but that would be expensive, like, the average 4K costs, like, you know, like, a new 4K on its own costs, like, £25, and, like, having 25 films, that, that would be very expensive, but it would be really cool. And the last thing I really want them to focus on for this year is finding the next actors who play James Bond. Um, now, there's a few people, uh, who, you know, sort of rumour to be in the role and people they're considering, um, you know, A-list actors such as, uh, Tom Hardy, Henry Cavill, uh, Idris Elba, even, they're even considering Tom Holland, um, and I, I think casting an A-list actor as James Bond is a really, really bad idea, and I'll make a video explaining why I think that, but overall I just think it's a terrible idea, um, but they have a whole year to find who might be the next Bond, or, you know, try and find the next James Bond actor, so I really think they should, uh, try and do that. People have asked me who I think the next Bond should be, and, uh, my answer has always been, I don't know, like, I genuinely do not know who I want to be the next James Bond, um, I don't really have anyone, uh, you know, no one really comes to mind when I think of who should be the next James Bond, uh, as long as it isn't an A-list actor, I'll most likely be fine with it, um, as long as it's not, you know, a woman, I think that's just a bad idea. Luckily, I don't think that's happening, I think that's a conversation from a while ago, um, but yeah, really, I have no idea who I want to be the next James Bond, um, uh, maybe over the year, some more people will start coming to mind, I'm not sure, um, but yeah, I really think this year they should, uh, 
uh, focus on searching for the next James Bond and seeing who would be good for the part. Like, I think some of these actors would be good as Bond, particularly Idris Elba. But, like, I just don't think they should be cast as him anyway. I really think casting an A-list actor as Bond is a bad idea. But as I said, I'll make a video explaining why I think that. And I'd say that's it. Those are really the three things I want to see for the 60th anniversary of Bond this year. Um, yeah, those are really the three main things that come to mind when I think of what I'd like to see this year. Um, might make part two to this video, might not. Um, you know, I, I don't really have uh, really anything else. Um, to, you know, I, I can't really think of anything else, uh, what I'd like to see for the 60th anniversary. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, as I said, um, we probably won't be getting, uh, much anniversary cele celebration stuff until later on this year. Um, but you know, I, we've got a little bit of time to wait, but I'm still very, very excited. Uh, I'm sure there is a lot in store for the 60th anniversary. So yeah, that's really it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think they should do for the 60th anniversary of James Bond this year. Um, yeah, feel free to let me know what you think they should do. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you didn't, if you did enjoy, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to. And until next time, bye bye.